a little bit funny. On the day he was meant to be celebrating joining an elite group of Britain's most esteemed figures, Sir Elton John was caught up in a potentially major security breach. He's among more than a thousand New Year Honours recipients, celebrities, military figures, politicians, whose home addresses were accidentally posted online. The Cabinet Office says the information was removed as soon as possible. We apologise to all those affected and are looking into how this happened. We've reported the matter to the Information Commissioner's Office and are contacting all those affected directly. You better shape up. It has detracted attention slightly from the New Year honours. Olivia Newton-John, best known as Sandy in Greece, is now a dame, thanks to her services to charity, cancer research and entertainment. While the Cricket World Cup winners were honoured, with Ben Stokes among those receiving an OBE. And the success of the women's football team was also recognised with an MBE for Jill Scott. Who would have thought seven-year-old girl from Sunderland who fell in love with the game of football now has herself a trip to the palace? Hello! Many will remember her as a children's TV presenter. It's exciting to say I am Baroness Dame Floella Benjamin, OBE DL. <laughs> now at 70, Floella Benjamin has been recognised for decades of campaigning for young people. I cried and I, I just wished my mom and my dad were here to see it and to see the fruits of their labour coming through, coming good. I want to be a role model to other people to say, I can do it too. If she can do it, that means I can do it. But some names have attracted controversy, some criticising a knighthood for Ian Duncan Smith, who as Work and Pension Secretary oversaw unpopular welfare reforms. While some have described a damehood for former Director of Public Prosecutions, Alison Saunders, as a reward for failure after several controversies in her role. The new and at 99, Second World War veteran Wolf Oldham is the oldest person recognised, made an MBE for services to commemorations. I'd like to think, as all my dead comrades, if they were here, they'd be, they'd be slapping me back. Like him, the vast majority of recipients are not household names, but still managed to make a difference. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.